Hello, this is Chris Kelleher of the Delaware County Aries Group, W3CTK. So basically just want to review um, the members area on the Aries website for Delaware County. Um, basically go over what a Microsoft account is, um, how to use it, log in, and how that gives you access to the members area here. So if you scroll down or look at the very top, there's a link for a Microsoft account. So everybody in Delco Aries should have a Microsoft account, which is your call sign at delcoaries.net. Uh, so that is a working email address. Uh, if you want to use it, you can go ahead. You don't have to, but it's available to you if you do. Uh, and then Microsoft has a applications page, account page that you can log into with your Microsoft account. Uh, so a Microsoft account is used to log into devices and services. Um, it basically lets you log into Skype, into Outlook, OneDrive, uh, Windows Phone, Xbox, um, you know, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Office, all of those services and applications um, pretty much require a Microsoft account to log into. Um, it also means that you have access to you know OneDrive where your files can be accessible anywhere um, and the one account can be used on your computer, iPad, laptop, um, phone, wherever. You already probably may have an app, a Microsoft account. Um, so if you have a Hotmail or Outlook email, that's a Microsoft account. Um, your work email address could be a Microsoft account. Um, some companies will use um, Microsoft accounts. Mine does. So I do have a Microsoft account for my work. Um, I have a personal Microsoft account, and then I also have one for all of my um, work here at Delaware County's Aries. So your Aries email and login is your call sign at delcoaries.net. Um, if you're not sure if it's set up or if you need your password, you can email support at delcoaries.net or just uh, email me directly if you have my email address. That works as well. So basically, um, when I set everybody up, uh, it should have sent you an email similar to this where it created a Microsoft account uh, and gave you your username and your password. Uh, if you don't have this, don't worry. Um, you know, I can send this again. I can always reset your password. You can also reset your own password uh, as well. And again, just send me an email. Um, so as I said, Microsoft has this password reset site where there's a link here. Uh, you can enter in your Delco Aries email address and the validation letters and then go through the steps to reset your password. It'll send you an email to the email address that we have set up for you. Um, again, it might not be set up or it may be incorrect, so let me know if that's an issue. Um, also, it can send a verification to your phone as well. So the Microsoft account website um, is at my application. So I'm going to go in here and show you what this looks like. OK, so right now you can see this um, shows different applications. This is not what your page should look like. This is um, my work page. Um, it has my Cisco WebEx and you know some other applications that I use at work. Um, the way I can tell is if I click on my picture on the very up right side, you can say, you see it says RTI Conchahawken, Christopher Kelleher at envisionhealth.com. So this is my work email. You can also go to my account page. Um, this shows you more details and can be used to set up your password and 
self-service reset questions, uh, security verification devices, all of your settings can be updated in here. So since I'm in my work right now, um, what I want to do first is just sign out. So I click here, sign out, it says which account do you want to sign out. I'm going to pick my work account. And then it says, close your browser window, which I'm going to do. So now I'm going to go back to my applications, and this time it's going to ask me to log in and pick an account. Um, now, my account, um, there's some other organizations. Uh, one is Radnor Citizens Police, so my account actually has that email address. Um, typically, it would be... Um, a call sign. So let's say, for example, your W3AAA at Delco Aries.net. So this is just a test account I set up. I click next and it's asking me for my password. Now I can click on forgot my password and go through the reset. Um, the other option I have would be to go to my email and if I look at here this is actually the email address w3aaa at delcoaries.net password is dud92943 I did not make that up that's just automatically generated so 92943 so I'm going to go back so instead of resetting it, I'm just going to type in the password that I have. So again, enter in W3. Give me one second here. Hmm, that's weird. W3AAA at Delco Aries.net. And then this is DUD. You can save the password to your browser, uh, and it says more information is required, so we'll go through that process. I click on Next. And basically it wants me to go through and verify some stuff. So I have a phone number set up, 484-425-2125, so I'm going to click on Verify. And I'm going to select United States and that number, and I'm going to say text me. And I just got a code on my phone. And my code is 455. Nine eight five. Going to verify. Okay. So now at this point I can finish, um, but I also want another way to verify, which is my email. So I'm going to set that up as well, and I'm going to just type in my Chris Kelleher at me.com, my typical email address. And right now it's sending me a verification code to my email. This may take a second to come through.
And my code is 944553. So I'll verify my email address. Uh, I can also set up security questions. Um, what city did you meet your spouse? And then type in the answer to that. Um, anything like that. Um, I'm not going to set those up right now. I don't need you guys to know my questions. And I shouldn't have hit back. So now I can say looks good. And it logs me in. Now you'll see this is the dashboard that you see. So basically I'm test user W3AAA at DelcoAries.com, net.net. Um, and then these are websites, uh, web applications, and Alasan apps. You can also go to all apps to see everything. Uh, on websites, there's the Delco Aries website. So, you know, just a link. It just takes you to the website. No big deal. Um, the other thing here, though, is the members area. So if I click on the members area, you can see it's redirecting me to a login. It's redirecting me to, you know, different sites, and it validates me automatically. And now I'm in the members area of the Delco Aries website. The members area, so basically everything is one website. Um, if you go to the regular website, this is what the public can see. And it's in a nice, clean, pretty format without any extra um, information that's not needed. Um, if you go to About, you can see here's what the About page looks like. Now, if I go into the members area, I have the same about page, and I can click on that. This is taking a second that it shouldn't. And this is the same exact page. The only difference is it is the members view. So there's things like you can click on edit if you have permission to edit the page. Uh, and then you can go in here and type in changes. So the members area, you can also send the page via email. Um, that's a great little feature. And then there's you, know, you can see the history of the page, restrictions. Um, I, I'll go over some of the details of the, um, this system called Confluence um, in another video, but that's basically the members area. But inside the members area, this is all information that the public cannot see. So for example, we have a members list. And if you go in there, you know, you can see our members, their call signs, spotter ID, um, if they have a go kit or not, and what their phone number is, things like that. Um, we have the radio programming files in here. Uh, we have our database, which is our channels, items, locations, net schedule, Skywarn, uh, and training. Uh, and then all of those have reports. Again, I'll have another video that goes through that in more detail, but you can kind of get an idea of what's in here. Okay. So that's the members area. So back on my applications, you can go there. Um, also, if you're in the, in the um, uh, Delco Aries website and just click on members, Again, it'll go right to the member site, and since I'm logged in to Microsoft, it doesn't do anything other than validate that I'm logged in. So 
so that's basically everything um, in a nutshell. Um, Microsoft services you also have access to. So um, basically with your Delco Aries account, you have a Microsoft Business Basic license. Um, the Business Basic license um, includes Office apps, uh, includes email, chat, Teams, cloud storage, uh, one terabyte of OneDrive. So it's a pretty nice um, feature that you get with that if you want to make use of it. Um, if you go to office.com, uh, you can see here's, here's Office. Uh, if you click here, you can see uh, I'm logged in and I can go to Outlook. Yeah, so this is my email for Delco Aries. So that's Outlook.Office. Um, you can go into OneDrive and trying to make me download the app. Uh, Teams as well. So if you go into Teams, uh, again, this is all using your Delco Aries um, Microsoft account. And this is the Teams web app. Um, this browser isn't supported, so you can download the app if I click on that. I can actually open the app here. I already have it installed. Um, I can go to Teams, and then you can see I have Delco Aries here. Um, you know, so we can use this for chatting. Under Website, you can see um, these are website updates get automatically posted in here as well. So that's nice to. Stay up to date on things. So that's Office, Outlook I showed you, and Teams. Um, you can also download the Teams app. Uh, there's a link there. Um, there's versions of the app for iPad, Android, iPhone, um, Macintosh, um, you know, obviously Windows. Um, I think they may even have a version for Linux, um, but they have different downloads that you can get to. Uh, and then here's just the members area. So again, you can just use the members area link up here. And if you're logged into Microsoft, it'll log you into the members area. So hopefully that's a big, uh, nice overview of um, the Microsoft account and how to get into the members area of the um, Delco Aries uh, members area of the website. Uh, I'll follow up and I'll probably have another video on what's in the members area and how to use some of the things there and some basics on Confluence. Um, but basically just being able to get in there and be able to see some of the information um, you know, the members list and the um, databases, uh, the pr programming, things like that. Um, there's also the Skywarn um, stuff in here as well. Uh, so that's basically it. Uh, let me know if you have any comments, any questions, any problems. Uh, just shoot me an email or uh, you know, catch me on the net. Uh, hopefully that helps. This is Chris Kelleher. Thanks and take care.